Hey everyone, are you like me and want a dual battery system but don't want to spend a lot of money on it? Well in this video I'm going to show you how I did my dual battery system, the components I used and where I got them from. So make sure you keep watching because I'm going to give you tips and tricks that I learned along the way. Let's get into it. To start with I used a super cheap auto Ridge Rider DC DC battery charger as the first component. I try and keep it as close to the battery as possible. I've just mounted it to the body on a bit of metal bracket that way it can be removed with ease and I've kept the cable short from the battery to the DC DC charger to prevent any losses. Let's move on to the rear half. If you want to see how I mounted my rear drawer I'll post a comment above with a link to the video so you can see how the drawers mounted so I got my battery box from BCF um, I preferred it over the Kings box while it might be a similar box the connections are on top which suited what I needed luckily when I mounted my drawer it was in the perfect slot for the battery box to fit in the only thing I did was I put a bracket down the bottom here just to stop the battery box from sliding around. The battery that I used was a battery from Buddings. I'll leave a link in the description below. And it's a 90 amp hour battery. Um, it's a lead acid filled battery. It only cost me $180. Now, while this not, might not suit a lot of people's needs, this suits my needs fine. Because I'm just running auxiliary lighting and maybe a small fridge in the future, um, most of it will be used under the alternator power, but this is just in case I need to use it uh, while while the car's turned off. So as for wiring, I've got two plugs there, one to the control box and one from the power in from the DC DC charger. From the battery box, I have the negative mounted to the body so that way it runs off. Uh, the body negative to, uh, through the chassis and that way I didn't need to run an extra wire for uh, the negative back to the uh, main battery. The only downside to this is the control box. If the battery box is disconnected from the DC-DC charger there is no negative feed so I have to add an extra negative feed in from the control box. Let's go have a look at the control box. Now, I also used a, B, a BCF XTM control box. Uh, it was only $10 more than the King's box. Uh, the thing I like about it though is that if I need to return it for whatever reason, I've got a local BCF. I don't need to go all the way to a King's store or post it back or whatever the case may be. So I found this to be a better option for only $10 more. Also on the side, I've connected a relay box. I'll open that up now and show you what's inside. So at the moment I'm only running two relays. I'll go into another video what they're about But it's just so that way I can have uh, Parallel switching for certain items so I can switch from the control box or I can switch from inside my car But I'll go into that in another video the other thing that I Wanted was a battery monitoring system Kings sell one for approximately $130, but there was none in stock So I made my own for $25 let me show you what I did and I'll put up a schematic of how I wired it. So currently all the wiring is really messy. It's a work in progress so just disregard the messiness of the wiring. I am going to tidy it up. So the first thing I did when I got this box was I added this dust seal to the top. Because there was no sort of water protection in, or ingr water ingress protection, um, I added this seal as just sort of a extra benefit. Now, what I'm going to talk about is the battery monitor. While the King's one is 130, it does show you amps in, amps out, all the stuff that most people don't even look at. So it didn't bother me that I didn't have that with my setup. So what I've done is if you can see it just in here, I'll post a photo in the video. I've got a low voltage detection cutoff. Uh, so the relay on that is only two amps. So that's not gonna support the power that I need into the box. So what I did was I wired the low voltage detection cutoff 
in using the power into the box and then I wired it up to a 100 amp relay. So the 2 amp relay on the PCB activates the coil for the 100 amp relay. With this, if the PCB detects that the secondary battery drops to 12 volts, it will drop its 2 amp relay out, which will then drop out the 100 amp relay, which means I can't use the power in the control box until the voltage gets above 12.5 again. So really that'll just mean starting the car. So this won't let me drain my secondary battery down to a percentage that will damage the battery and I won't be able to use it anymore. So rather than paying $130 for the fancy King's battery monitor, I paid $25 or so. Um, I'll have to, I'll post the figures up in the actual video. Yeah, I only paid around $25 for this setup as opposed to $130, which in my case, I like that because I'm not watching the amps in amps out all the time. In running the cable under the car, I run it in black corrugated conduit. I cable tied it to the current looms that are under the vehicle so that way I knew it was in a safe place. There's no point in showing that because it may be different on your vehicle, but I just followed the current looms that were there. And as you can see, the wire is going into the secondary relay box. And I'll go into that in another video. How have you done your dual battery setup? How would you like to do your dual battery setup? How would you do mine differently? I'll make comments as people come in on this video uh, if I've left something out. And so just make sure you keep watching for the comments. This comes with 50 amp fuses and it pretty much will meet all the needs that I need for what I'm going to run from this because I don't go on big camping trips so this will suit my needs so if you want to save a bit of money do a setup like this or make it how you want don't have to stick to the main ways of doing things just have a look to see what's going to suit your needs make sure you keep watching for the next video